Sometimes out of curiosity and sometimes out of necessity, it's handy to know what's inside your system, especially your CPU. And short of taking the cover off and having a look inside, I'm going to show you in this video how you can get some information about your CPU using the command line. Normally, I would advocate you use DUAS to get root privileges, but I'm just going to go into SU in this video because we're doing a lot via root and it'll a lot be easier than typing DUAS every time. The first command we're going to use is syscontrol or sysctl hw.model and then hw.machine. These are quite self explanatory. And then hw ncpu for model machine type and the number of cpus the speed and the model so it's an x5570 at 2.93 gigahertz it's a 64-bit machine with eight cores and next if you want to find out a little bit more you go syscontrol hyphen a i'm going to pipe that into egrep and we're going to search for the text hw dot machine and also hw dot model and hw dot ncpu so it'll give you the same information as above a little bit more fleshed out so whichever one you prefer to use choose either one of them next we're going to go get conf long underscore bit and it'll tell you whether you're a 64 or 32 bit machine if you didn't know it already grep hyphen i cpu and we're going to search in the the var run d message log file in this case boot and it will tell us in a little bit more detail what the system saw when it booted up and again you can tell it's uh it's an x5570 running at 2926 that's actual real world score it's a k8 class cpu the next command is syscontrol hyphen a the pipe back into grep as we've done before hyphen i cpu and we're just going to pause it on each screen and this gives you a lot of information every time cpu word comes up and as you can see almost every information every little bit of info is apparent there you know, temperature which is running at 75 degrees at the moment let's clear the screen for your syscontrol hw.clockrate and you can actually see the system clock rate as it is now dmi decode of course it's an old favorite but hyphen t and then four it will show you the the essentials really what you need just for the cpu otherwise it will tell you everything about your system so that's kind of useful and this isn't cheating but for those who like a little bit of graphics with the information and it's kind of useful just to let it uh, certainly desktop and you can monitor in real time really what's happening on your system but CPU X will give you a running display uh, how much is being used in percentage wise your current clock speed everything from your cache your level one etc your model uh, what instructions it actually takes which is useful and your current temperature hovering around about 70 74 is a very warm day today and yeah i like this use a little tool just uh leave on your desktop so these are just a few of the tools you can use to find out some information about your cpu kind of handy to know and uh handy to keep so if you ever want a question and you're not sure about the system that you're running maybe you uh, bought it second hand or you didn't bother to look in it i always strip this machine clean and then reassemble but say for instance you didn't and you got a question about whether it was 32 bit or 64 bit uh etc now you know how to have a look without actually taking the cover off if you don't feel confident enough. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.